Milo dreamed. A naked woman cowered in the corner of the shack. The dead blonde sat to one side of the woman. Spencer sat on the other, smoking, always smoking. Milo held the naked redhead to him and stroked her hair. He breathed her scent deep. Mm, She smelled good, like cheap wine and sex. Something faint lurked underneath this aroma. Milo recognized it as fear. He grabbed her breast to feel her heart thumping under his hand. It fluttered under his hot palm like a frightened animal. A small rabbit in his arms, trembling and terrified. Good, isn't she? Spencer asked from his place across the shack. Yes, Milo growled. Is she really what you want? The dead blonde asked. She's perfect, Milo said. Couldn't you just eat her up? Spencer asked. I sure could. Then why don't you, little brother? I will. Milo licked his lips as he ran his palm over his crotch. But not like that, the dead blonde said. Then how? You know how, Spencer said. And Milo did. This time, he was ready for it. Partially because he knew what to expect, but mostly because the beast roared to get out. As the woman cowered in the corner, Milo stripped, folding his clothes neatly and setting them to one side. He dropped to his knees with a grunt at the first flash of pain. He lifted himself to his hands and knees, his hungry erection dangling proudly between his thighs as he waited for the change. The woman glanced to his cock, her eyes wide with fear. Milo wanted to fuck her first, to take what was rightfully his, but he didn't have time. The beast wouldn't wait. The change wouldn't wait. They both came in a blinding rush, and with them, the pain consumed Milo. Turned out, he wasn't ready for it after all. Not ready for the tearing and cracking, the shifting and shunting, the rending and bleeding, always bleeding. The woman shrieked as she witnessed the beast emerging, ripping free from the form of Milo, shedding the husk of the human like a skin and bone cocoon. The thing that was Milo let out a triumphant howl. Bon appetit, Spencer said over the cry. The beast turned to the task of his meal, while Spencer and the dead blonde watched on.